here and I'll take a walk. I'll be right back. All right. Hmm. Huh. So this is the driveway and it goes a pretty good ways back and you can see we have trees that separate us off from the highway and it's about an acre one side to the other it goes way on back there and there's a few stands of trees you see you can see a little path down there where it goes you'll have to excuse my heavy breathing I'm a bit congested today as usual but I will say my allergies haven't been so bad since we've lived out here, which is really odd. I've only had to take one pill the whole time we've been here. And you can see we're nearing the top of a hill. We're thinking about putting our house probably about here somewhere. We'll have to put some kind of drainage control to keep the land from washing off from around it. But, uh... It's way the heck on back there. More than enough room for horses and whatever we choose to do. It should be ideal for solar power. It has an east-west flow. <laughs> At least it looks that way. I need to come back in the morning and look where the sun comes up on the land. That'll tell me the direction I have to orient my panels. That is a beautiful pine tree sitting out there. <clears throat> but that all the way back, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but all the way back to the edge of those woods and maybe a little beyond, that's the width of our land. And see, we've walked so far, you can't even see the car anymore, but you can still see the trees at the edge. So, I'm really hoping we get this. This is beautiful country, and I can make a beautiful home place out of this. We're going to have to put in some erosion control, but other than that, see, now we're going down the hill. And there's this clearing almost at the very back, perfectly flat. Somebody's been hunting deer. There's deer feeder, probably the owner's. But it just opens up into this huge, wide clearing. And way back there, we got a deer stand. And I guess I'll just go ahead and go around the perimeter. You can see there's a huge stand of trees here. I think it's a swamp or a slough. There might even be something man-made up in there. I just don't know. It's very, very thick. And the other thing that leads me to believe that there might be something man-made is uh, the St. Augustine grass on this hill in places. And my mother found that. Let's see, now we're coming off from the main road and you can see it's uphill. The property has a slope. There's a lot of clearing we're going to have to do. Um... There are some holes here and there, and there are these thorny thistle things growing everywhere. I don't know what these are, but they hurt when you step on them. And they get wrapped around your ankle. And there's our friendly neighborhood ants. We have a lot of them. So I'm going to have to get some diazin on or something. Try and get that where the sun's glare doesn't mess everything up. So we're now at the far side. And you can see this stand of trees. We're basically going around the perimeter of, of the land as far as it's been cut. Somewhere up in there is our property marker. We're probably going to have to have it surveyed. Uh, 
And it's like I said, my breathing is a bit heavy, but that's because I'm not breathing too well. So you can see on up in there, it goes up the hill. If it flattens out down here, I'm a little concerned with that as a collecting point for water. But all of this is very level. We're coming now toward the front. Should be able to see the car soon, somewhere out here. This is truly a big piece of land. You don't really think of four acres as being that big until you actually go for a walk on it. And we're just gonna go up this hill. We're not quite to the front of the land. I guess I'll take the right path. Should take us right back to the gate. But it's about a at a brisk pace, it's about a seven minute walk all the way around. Maybe. We have all this up front. I don't know how far that goes. Pretty good ways out. Hey! Oh, okay. Where's it at? It's what? Oh! So the creek is on our land, huh? Hello? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I, I will... I'm sorry you're breaking up. We're in a dead zone. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, let me call you right back. All right. 